Hey, Mr. Parsons here to talk about the categorical imperative. The categorical imperative from Kant is a really big concept, and I want to make sure we've got it down before we move into normative ethics this week. First, I want you to take the term categorical imperative and break it down. You're taking categories and turning them into imperatives, things you must do. So you take a single little action and you turn it into a whole category. You figure out what category that little action applies to, and then you make it a rule, a must do. Uh, Kant calls it a maxim. So if you look at one of Kant's examples, there was a man who's broke. He has no money and no job, and he is near starving to death. He has to find the money somehow, or he's going to die. He knows that if he borrows money, there's no way he can repay it. But he thinks that since the borrowing money is the only way to survive, then it's the right thing to do. So let's take this little action and turn it into the categorical imperative. What the man is saying is that it's okay to borrow money, even if you don't plan to repay it, if you feel like you really need to. Now imagine how that would work in the real world. If every single person who felt like they needed to borrow money did, without ever planning to repay it, then the world collapses. Because we're all subjective, and we all think we're in dire straits when sometimes we might be able to get help in other ways. So we've taken that man's single little action, and we've applied the categorical imperative to make a rule that applies to a whole category of actions.